A unique aspect of my training is that I did um, spend a year at Stanford University doing craniofacial um, reconstructive procedures. Those techniques and principles help me in facial analysis for both aesthetic procedures with filler agents as well as the uh, surgical procedures with brow lifts, eyelids, and uh, necks. Um, another thing that the craniofacial fellowship taught me uh, is in the facial analysis is what the status of the bone is, particularly are you mid-face deficient, lower jaw deficient, and how that has an impact on the overall proportionality of the face. If you happen to have a lower, uh, lower jaw that is small and retruded, that can make your nose look bigger. So there are cases where a rhinoplasty in conjunction with a chin enhancement can really transform and provide a proportionate appearing face. And um, an example of a skeletal um, modifier is a very porous plastic material that has been used historically in some hip replacements for the fossa and this material, the nice thing about it over a silicone implant that a lot of uh, non-craniofacial trained people are not comfortable with using, uh, this is carvable and can be secured with screws. The, the mobile silicone ones which are not carvable and they're also not stabilized and it can cause bone resorption over time. This is placed onto the bone and actually screwed into place. It does not move and it really becomes an extension of your natural jawbone. And we can use the same material for cheek uh, enhancements for people that uh, are kind of mid-face deficient and look very flat and also make your eyes look like they bulge. And these are manipulations that we can do very safely and, and effectively to give you proportionality and make you more comfortable in your skin. Um, the other aspect of my craniofacial experience was uh, getting a lot of experience in rhinoplasties. Rhinoplasties are a very technically specific operation that you have to learn respect of cartilage, what cartilage can do, the memory of cartilage. It also involves the soft tissues and avoiding scarring. And it is a very technically sensitive operation and it does also require a very good three-dimensional um, inspection of the face to understand exactly what you need to do to get a nose to where you want to be. And the nice thing that we have as a teaching tool for our patients is we do have a Vectra 3D imaging system that allows us to show you what, a no what your particular nose looks like from all angles. It allows us to show some simulations of surgery it can't show all aspects of the subtleties of what a rhinoplasty can perform, but it can give you a general idea that can be very beneficial to allay some of your fears of undergoing the surgery. Having the background in craniofacial surgery allows me to have the experience and knowledge to be able to provide excellent care for all of your facial aesthetic needs. If something on the face is of interest for you, please contact us at thelucascenter.com or call our office at 865-218-6210.